Hello friends, this is a continue video of the previous video. So if you have not watched my previous video, which is about what is the difference between references and pointers, I strongly recommend please go and watch that and you will get the link in the description field. So I have noted down a few comments here. So this is a bold comment for references like use reference in function parameter and return type. So this is the best use of references I have seen so far. Okay. And I have noted down a few points here. So the first point is pass big object. So whenever you are passing a really very big object, so whenever you pass it in some function like this, so as we can see here, let's suppose this big class is some class and there is this object. Now you're passing this object to this function and you are getting that here. So if you are passing by a value and its size is let's suppose really very big, then it is unnecessary copy and maybe you didn't want that. So in that case, using references are really a very good idea. Okay. You can use pointers in that case, but pointer will make your life so hard because you will have to use arrow operator. Okay. And what is that? Something like this and data. So you'll have to use this operator all the time in order to call the member of this object. So this was about first point. Whenever you are passing a big object, take it as reference. Okay. Second point is to avoid object slicing. And to show you what is object slicing, let me write a program here. So here is your example ready. And if you will print this print then let's see what is happening if you are not using reference here and what happens if you are using reference so for this case we are not using reference so let's see what is happening it will print base okay base is printed why because it has sliced out the derived part from this object okay so derived is holding base and derived data both and we know the use of virtual if virtual function is present in class and you are passing that class object to the pointer of the base class, then it would end up calling your derived class function. But here we are not using pointers. And if you will not use pointers, your object will get sliced. Okay. And to avoid that, we will use reference. See, okay. Now we'll compile this and it is printing derived. Okay. So that virtual behavior can be achieved without pointer. Okay. So this was the second point. Let's look at the third point to modify the local variable of, of caller function. That is really very obvious and code for that is. So if you print this, the answer is 10. So what you did, you changed the local variable for you. So for you from where you are calling in this main. So you are main right now and you're calling this function and passing this local to main variable into this, but taking it as a parameter, I mean reference. So you are able to change that. Okay. So the same behavior can be achieved with pointers, but we are not using pointers and then also it is possible. Okay. And fourth point is to achieve a runtime polymorphism in function. And this is actually the same point as second because in second, we were talking about the slicing and if you will remove that slicing part, I mean, if you will do this, I mean the reference here, then this function will become a polymorphic function. Okay. So in this function, if you're passing derived object like this, then it will print derived. I mean, it will call the derived object function. And if you will pass base class, then it will print base class object okay so let's check that so this is a polymorphic behavior because runtime you can pass anything and it will behave accordingly so let's compile this and check yeah derived and base so this is what the polymorphic behavior is okay so this was the fourth point and i can remember a fifth point that point tells that there are so many places where you can only use references here whatever we discussed these points were having option like 
either you use reference or use pointer okay so these all four places where we use reference instead of pointer just to make our life little easier because pointer include little more overhead and if you're passing a reference you can treat that object or variable as it is okay but there are a few places where you have to use reference and one of them i can remember is a copy construct so let's see the example for that as well and here you're using a reference so this place tells that you have to use reference otherwise this code will not compile okay you can omit this constant it's up to you whether you want to make sure that you're not accidentally changing this object but you cannot remove this reference from this otherwise it will be a recursive object creation it it won't compile okay so let's see whether it is compiling or not i'm going to press compile button and it is giving me you probably meant base const base reference so here it is telling me the error okay but if i will remove all these things and i will just simply compile this then it should compile okay and making some silly mistakes here yeah so now you have only one problem and the problem tells that you must have reference here so let's write this and compile again successfully compiled in 0.8 seconds okay so this is one of the place where you have to use reference and there are other places also you can comment if you know those places okay now let's come to the pointer point pointer point pointer point yeah so the pointer is use pointers in algorithms and data structure like linked list tree graph and all that and why because sometimes we put null or null pointer in nodes so if you have ever done coding for linked list tree and all these things you might remember that he was putting null in left hand side child and right hand side child if you are creating a new node okay so that you can fill that in later point of time when you will get that correct node or something okay but you cannot use reference instead of pointer there because a reference cannot be null or null pointer i told you in previous video okay so that is one reason and another reason is sometimes we change the pointers to point some another node okay so we cannot do this with references because reference is a very tight bound if you define a reference saying that i have a variable integer i is equal to 10 and i want a reference of i okay so this r is the reference of i now you cannot change this r and cannot make it refer something else okay if you are making r is equal to j or something then the value of j will get copied into r which is nothing but i so i will change by the value of j but you cannot make r point j okay so this is kind of fixed once you have written this line okay but in case of these type of algorithms we keep on changing the pointer values so you cannot use reference there okay so i think i'm done here if you have idea of few more places where pointer and reference can be please comment out it will be a good fun to know those things okay thanks for watching